St. Kitts and Nevis is open for business. That's the message from the Premier of Nevis, Mark Brantley, who will soon arrive on the island to help rekindle the bond between his country and Bermuda. According to the St. Kitts and Nevis Observer, an estimated 60% of Bermudians are descendants of the dual island Caribbean nation, tracking back to the early 1900s. Mr. Brantley has served as the premier of the smaller part of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis since 2017 and has since sought to strengthen the ties that bind the overall territory with our island. Bermuda has done incredibly well. We admire very, very much what they've achieved. Such a small island uh, has done such really important things in terms of the economy, how efficiently the island is run. And we feel that there's a lot that we can learn from Bermuda and a lot that we can engage with Bermuda, especially as we now talk about investment. We talk about Bermudans who may want to retire, have retirement homes here, and really to reconnect with this, which was their foundation uh, over 100 years ago. Tomorrow, during a public town hall meeting, he hopes to showcase what St. Kitts and Nevis has to offer to Bermudians, including investment opportunities. But what I'm promoting is really to see how we can develop a symbiotic relationship and, and to move uh, both of our territories forward. Uh, in the case of St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, we would have contributed significantly in terms of Bermuda's development, in terms of our, your human capital. And we are now saying Bermuda is, is, is such a sophisticated place that there's an opportunity now for Bermuda to repay that in a way and to assist us in terms of our own development here. Efforts to forge connections between the countries are already underway, with St. Kitts and Nevis appointing an honorary consul in Bermuda. Premier Brantley noted that while some descendants may be eligible for citizenship under the St. Kitts and Nevis Constitution, there are also other pathways to settle there, which he described as very easy residency requirements. He also said his government is working on policies to attract not only Bermudians, but others in the diaspora. Part of, I think, the mistake that we've made over the years is we've continually looked abroad for what we call foreign investment to help to grow and develop our countries. When in fact, we have a very well-placed diaspora who already is connected to us and who, with the right policies, can be encouraged to come home and to invest here and to help us grow and develop. Premier Brantley highlighted real estate as a prime investment opportunity in St. Kitts and Nevis, sharing that a Bermudian recently built a beautiful villa there for $550,000. The business sector and sports were also mentioned as areas where Bermuda and St. Kitts and Nevis could have meaningful exchanges. You love cricket, we love cricket. You have a a very successful world-class financial services sector. Uh, We are trying to develop the financial services sector. So I really do feel that there are lots of opportunities. Uh, And uh, my purpose in being there is really to say, listen, St. Kitts and Nevis is open for business. We want your business. We want your connections. And more than that, we want you to come home. We want you to rekindle your love affair with the country of your ancestors. And for us, that's a very important message. Premier Brantley's town hall meeting will be held at the Christ Anglican Church Hall in Devonshire tomorrow from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. All are welcome to attend.